I am so excited about this. Tesla have just released a software update, which is so incredibly perfect for me because now you can officially change the color of your car on screen. And just in case you didn't know, my car is literally bright pink. So now my car in real life could be pink and my car on screen could be pink too. Is there anything truly better than that? I don't know. So in order to enter the colorizer menu, you just go into the toy box and we click on customize. Oh my God. Becky, this is so exciting. I think it was like two years ago I said this would be a cool feature. And now here we are. This is fantastic. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my first little double. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my oh, that looks epic. God. Look at this. So, oh, look at the red. That looks so nice. So what else we can do is obviously I'm not planning on keeping this car pink forever. So we can have a look at what other options might be nice to get the car wrapped next. Oh my God. <gasps> look at that. <laughs> So we can go all the way into a very vibrant red, which looks horrendous, to be honest. But there's not just solid, there's also metallic. Whoa. Oh my god, that looks so cool. And then, there's matte. Whoa. What's matte versus solid? Oh yeah, there is a difference, there is a difference. Metallic looks particularly dramatic, I'm not gonna lie. Hey Becky, what colour shall I try next? You let me know. Green! Okay, no problem. Oh! Hey! Whoa. Oh, how cool would that be in real life, to be fair? That would look absolutely amazing. And then look at this. What's that? What's that? I want it like a, a black green. Not a problem. Ooh. Purple is a colour I've always wanted a car. All my cars in GTA are purple. That would look incredible, wouldn't it? Try it matte. Oh, the matte looks nice. The metallic looks nice. Oh, ooh, we're getting a bit pink. So I think it is time to actually try and recreate the real pink wrap that we've got. So let's slide on over to pink. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so good when we're driving around at the end of this video once we've chosen our color I'm gonna activate rainbow road mode just so that the screen is as crazy as possible So stick around. Okay, so I want this to be accurate. Our pink isn't quite as vibrant as that It's it's a bit of a lighter pink isn't it like maybe there and then let's try the different modes So it's definitely not metallic. Could it be matte? It could be matte if we make it a bit brighter That's not quite right. Is it? Let's try and slide it around a bit and then we could try like around there. I'm peeking on the, the bonnet. It's it's a bit too pink, isn't it? Let's try a little bit brighter still. Maybe around there. Let's try metallic again. No, definitely not metallic. We'll try solid. Oh, it looks a lot better on solid to be fair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a bit darker again. It could be that, you know. Becky's not convinced. Oh, Becky's whacking her finger out. <laughs> She's taking over. She's clicking stuff. Yeah, no worries, Becky. I'll, I'll just sit here. That's fine. Oh, uh, why are you making it that color? Isn't this just such a cool feature? It's more like that. Do you reckon? Look at the outside. Yeah. Annoyingly, you are correct. All right, well, you've got it. So what we can do is... Do you, think, do you think it's right? Do you think that's... that's Oh, I don't know, Becky. You you thought oh, no, it was that's right. Too much pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> don't click. <laughs> oh, why would you do that? All right, let's try back to there. I want it to be accurate. I, th I think that's pretty much close, isn't it? And then what you can do is you can click this and it saves it. Ooh. So now I can go to green just to have a bit of fun, but I can always click back to my effing pink, which is the official vinyl wrap name. I almost wonder if it'd be better to have it like something more visually striking and less accurate, you know what I mean? That one just might look a bit cooler and nicer for a thumbnail too. Okay, we've created a few different pinks. I think the one most accurate to real life is that one. However, on this little screen that you're looking at, this one's probably better because it's just a bit more striking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of it and I'm going to actually put the car into drive. Oh my god, look at my little car. <laughs> we actually have a pink car on the screen with our real pink car. That is such a funny feature. <laughs> and then if I put the car back into park. Oh my god, it's, it, whoa, it's put it in the wrong place. It's fixed it, it's fixed it, it's fixed it. All right, let's see what it looks like when you open the virtual trunk on a pink car. I, for one, cannot wait. Oh Whoa. my God, that is incredible. Look at that. And then back down, back down. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now as well as it changing on the screen, apparently it should update on the Tesla app. So let's find out. I'm going to open the Tesla app for the first time. It's loading, it's loading. My car, oh, and it is pink. That looks so Whoa. funny. <laughs> that is amazing. And then if I go into climate, you can see that it is also pink on the climate. We can see that I can once again open the doors. So let's open the front on here. <laughs> and it is pink. 
That is absolutely fantastic. I love that so much. What I'd quite like to see is how quickly does it update if I change the color? So let's just change it to green. And then I'm just going to close it. And it's already updated to green on the app. Wow, it does that so quick. Right, we're going to make it blue. I'm going to click the close button. Let's see how quick it takes to update. It's a, it, hang on, it already updated before I clicked the close button. That is clever, how quickly it connects and stuff. That, that's amazing. Okay, now let's head onto the road. We can turn on rainbow road mode just so that we can see how crazy this screen can look. Okay, so we need to activate autopilot and then we get to activate rainbow road mode. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Now, I did forget it plays the annoying music and there's literally nothing that you could do about it. But look at that, we've got a pink car on a rainbow road. That is truly, truly wonderful. <laughs> All right, if I abort, does the music stop? No, no it doesn't, no it doesn't, okay. Well, we'll, we'll just wait till it finishes then, that's fine. Gonna start up again in a second. Yeah, there it is. No, no, stop, stop. <laughs> Why well, when I look, look, I can turn the volume down. Nothing happens. It, it just plays it anyway. <laughs> there we go. It is stopped. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Okay, so the colorizer is a really fun aspect of this update, but it's not actually the only thing. They've also done a couple of small changes. After feedback, such as my previous video, they have now re-added the profile button and the sentry cam button, which is available on this screen, but only when you're in park. So you'll see if I go into drive, they do... Act oh, actually, I'm wrong. The sentry disappears, but the profiles are still available while you're in drive. So look at this. I can switch to Becky while I'm driving about, which is kind of weird, isn't it? Oh God, oh God. You sit so weird, Becky. Why are you sitting down here? <laughs> Get that changed. But yes, there we go. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> you. I hate how it does that. <laughs> but yes, there we go. A very fun little update. This is a completely cosmetic feature. It does not help you driving at all but I still absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Like I said, at some point in the future, I want to get rid of this pink wrap, so please let me know which of these many colours you think I should get next, because there are some amazing colours available. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.